When you first install Windows 2008 Server, you might quickly wonder why it lacks all of the eye candy from Windows Vista. In fact, by default, Windows 2008 looks a lot like Windows 2000. Well, if you want the eye candy that's found in the Vista Aero theme, you can have it in Server 2008 as well. Actually, you can have a lot more than that. Windows 2008 offers a feature called Desktop Experience, which is not installed by default. It not only includes the Windows Vista Aero theme, but also has many of the programs that are bundled with Vista, such as Windows Calendar, Mail, Media Player, Video for Windows with AVI support, Photo Gallery, Windows Slideshow, Windows Defender, Disk Cleanup, Sync Center, Sound Recorder, and Character Map. Now, if you're using this strictly as a server, there's really no reason you would want all of these things. But if 2008 is your desktop computer as well, why not have them? So, how do we get all of this installed and enabled? Watch and learn. Okay, the first thing we do is click on Start, and we go up to Server Manager. And Server Manager can take a second to load. Um, and you'll see in here, collecting data. All right, once all of that's done, you go up here and you click on Features. And once it pulls up, you right click and select Add Features. All right, in the list that comes up here, you want to find Desktop Experience, which is right here. Select that, then click Next, and click Install, and it will start an installation process, which will take a little while. Now, once this is done, you're going to get a restart pending message, so you'll click on close and then say yes I do want to restart and it'll start the restart process and we'll pause until we've restarted. Okay, once you've rebooted um, it's going to come up with a screen that says resuming configuration which also may take a while. Uh, just let it do its thing and I'll pause again and finally it's done with the installation so we will close this and we'll close server manager and you'll see you still don't have a Vista theme that's because you still have a few more steps to go so we're going to want to click on start and we want to go to admin tools administrative tools and go to services and when we're in services we want to scroll down and go to themes and there we are you'll see themes is disabled here so I'm going to right click on that and go to properties and then here I will make the startup automatic and then click OK and then I will start the service and it started but still no theme we still have to go to right click on the desktop and click on personalize and we go to theme here and we should see a Vista theme and there it is there's our Vista theme and we'll click OK and there is our Vista theme now you'll see that I don't have the um, glass effect that you may have, but uh, that's because I'm in a virtual machine here and I have very low memory on it. But still, we have the Vista theme, and if you go into programs, you'll see we have a lot of the programs that come by default with Vista as well. So you've got that Vista look and feel here. And that is that for this tutorial.